The count on begins in the Hammond Hills neighborhood in North Augusta. It's one of the areas where Helene hit hardest. Many people forced to move out or demolish their homes due to the damages. Hannah Latier live there now in front of one of those homes. And Hannah, I know you had a chance to talk to the owner today. I did, Brad. Julian Jenkins owned this home on Hammond Drive for less than six months before it was destroyed by the storm. So I honestly thought uh, we'd just be able to ride through it. Uh, the house is 50 years old and it hadn't gone anywhere since, so I thought, you know, it'd just be an another uh, thunderstorm. Jenkins and his fiance quickly realized that wasn't the case. I woke up to the transformer here blowing up uh, and the room was glowing like a deep ocean blue. We would run to one side of the house and we'd hear a loud thump and we'd run to the other side and we'd hear a loud thump. When a tree crashed into the living room, they ran out to the car. And so I figured if, you know, if the tree falls through the roof, the carport ceiling, the roof rack, and then the car itself, and it hit us, it was just our time. But a decision to make a run for the neighbor's house might have saved their lives. They waited out the storm there and have been staying at a nearby hotel ever since. Thursday, an Atlanta-based crew cleared debris and took down the remaining trees on the property. But compare uh, this storm to the Katrina, and it's been 19 years ago, it's it's just like Katrina, but it's a lot smaller, but it's still widespread. So we've been here 12 days and we've just been working. We haven't worked at probably at least about 25 houses. As for the future of this house. Uh, fortunately, I think it's going to be demolished and uh, we'll rebuild a new one hopefully in the next 18 months. Well, I think I was kind of like a deer in the headlights the night of. Um, I was just in shock. And the next morning, it, it was kind of a little bit emotional, um, but we were just glad that nobody was hurt. And that crew says they will continue to work in North Augusta until there isn't a need for them anymore. Live in North Augusta, Hannah Latier, WJBF News Channel 6.